this is my advice for younger women and very young women and any age woman regarding men. One of my sons had a friend who had seven children and a wife, of course. He told me once, men are natural predators of women. He said that, a father, a husband. Men cannot help the way they are. Some people say when a man is older and he's acting nicer and he's calmed down, oh, he mellowed with age. That's not what's going on. What's going on is he has less testosterone, which is a very strong hormone. Some men can't even handle it. I mean, they're wild most of their lives. So you, the female, the one with endurance, the one with patience. You have to handle men according to your advantage and, and to help them, to protect them. They're, they're pressured physically and inside their bodies. Um, and, and then um, when they, they conquer you, uh, they get bored with you. I, I know men who are fascinated with their wives their entire life. You know, she's like 85 years old now. She's always been in a bad mood, and they're just absolutely fascinated. They don't stray. They don't even look at another woman. And you know what I notice about these couples? The particular wife is playing hard to get. Her whole life, whole life, she never, she never makes him feel that, oh, she's madly in love with him, she'll do anything for him, she'll sacrifice for him. No, she always plays hard to get. And this is what men want. They want to conquer. So if the husband has to conquer her every day for the rest of his life, he's very happy. He doesn't need anybody else. And I've known several couples like that, but not many, not many. So that particular woman, um, she was my neighbor, and oh boy, difficult to get along with. But she made her husband happy, and they were married there, you know, for, for decades. Um, things used to be very different um, decades ago. Uh, more than decades ago, uh, a woman used to have a chaperone. And um, there's a saying in the Middle East that whenever a man and a woman are alone together, the third person there is the devil. The reason they have this saying is they want to make it impossible that anything untoward, anything negative, um, any seduction should happen by never being alone with a man. Now what if people still did that? Yes, you can call me a boomer, you could call me old. I didn't always look like this. I was beautiful. I didn't know it. I wish I had known it. I wish somebody would have told me, look, you have a lot going for you, you know? Um, don't, don't get involved with just anyone. You know, make them, make them have something to offer you. And you have qualities that can be admired. A man, uh, of course, wants to be attracted to you, he wants to like your personality. But he, to stay a long time with you, to respect you, there has to be something about you that he admires. And it's the same thing with a woman. There has to be something about the guy that you admire, that you think is noble, different, special. So take your time. In the meantime, uh, study, exercise, have goals. Uh, there, there's no rush for these things. Yes, nature, pu puberty, okay, but 
that doesn't mean uh, that you've passed puberty, so, you know, it's time to have children. You know, your body is not, and your mind is not fully developed until you are 25 years old. And some scholars, scientists, say that it's not until 30 years of age. So think about that. I have no agenda. I just want to help younger people. I have a lot of um, knowledge and experience in here. And uh, before I go to the next level, you know, the spiritual level when we pass on, I want to get all this stuff out of here and do some good with it. So think about what I'm saying.